to watching Media Live here on TV3 with me, Komla Adam. You can join us via social media platforms, TV3 Ghana on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Of course, you can also download the 3 News app and watch us from wherever you are. Now, Attorney General Godfrey Yabu Adami has condemned the practice of some lawyers who attack the courts and judges on social media when judgments do not go in their favor, especially with high-profile political cases. He wants lawyers who engage in such practices punished for their conduct. He made the remarks at the bench, bar, and faculty conference in Accra Thursday, where he also charged the Supreme Court to consider only cases with the potential of resulting in law changes. The time has come for the Supreme Court to reduce its case load by prioritizing the kinds of cases it actually has. The rules of the Supreme Court should be revised to permit the in dismissal of frivolous applications and cases, which actually constitute the bulk of cases considered by the Supreme Court every year, without the necessity of a hearing in open court. Only important cases with the potential of resulting in a change of the law or with immense public interest should be heard by our Supreme Court. This will lead to efficiency in the productivity of the highest court of our republic. Recent development disclosed a systematic attempt by a certain lawyer, often belonging to a side of the political divide, to deploy social media to denigrate the administration of justice through poisoned and caustic attacks on judgment to the court, albeit unjustified. This is often witnessed in commentary on so-called political cases, where some lawyers perceive the outcome to have a far-reaching consequence for the objectives of political parties they sympathize with. Faced with adverse rulings, some lawyers go to the rather farcical extent of actually advocating for the abolition or scrapping of our court. The most deplorable thing about such endeavor is that many a time, the ambitious comments are plainly wrong. Yet, the propagators of these wrong and dangerous ideas do not relent in their efforts to push them down the truth or the unsuspecting public. Such disreputable practice on the part of some lawyers further becomes an inducement to persons who are not members of the legal profession to launch even more savage and illogical attacks on the judiciary. This conduct is clearly despicable as it has the ultimate tendency to destroy the integrity of institutions of justice delivery in Ghana. Such conduct should result in sanctions being promptly inflicted on the lawyers in question.